Ladies and gentlemen, we're here tonight to cover the National Bowl Off. The alleys are packed, and an eager crowd of sports fans are gathered to await the arrival of the finalists, Tom and Jerry. And here they are! Throughout the tournament, Tom has been supremely confident, and tonight is no exception. On the other hand, Jerry has been the undermouse, but has hung on doggedly to reach the finals. <laughs> this championship bowl-off is ready to start, and Jerry will lead off. Jerry puts the pressure on Tom by leading off with a strike. And now, Tom is a picture of concentration as he prepares to bowl. <laughs> A tough break for Tom. It's almost impossible to make the 7-10 split. Tom has changed balls for this difficult shot. What a spectacular shot! Tom picked up his spare and saved himself from an open frame. Now Jerry gets prepared to roll. He's looking for his bowling ball. Well, what a good sport Tom is. He brought Jerry his bowling ball. <laughs> Jerry gets set and makes his delivery. Wow, Jerry's hot tonight. He gets another strike and keeps the pressure on Tom. And Tom comes right back with a solid strike. pin setter to place the pins. And it's another big strike for Jerry. The pressure is on Tom again, and he really needs a strike to stay in the game. Oh, what a tough break. It looks like Tom has rolled a gutter ball. Always the good sport, Tom is wiping the alley for Jerry. Why, Tom is even wiping Jerry's bowling ball for him. Now Tom hands Jerry the ball. And Jerry throws. <laughs> oh, tough break for Jerry, missing his strike. And now he must get all ten pins to make a spin. Wow, what a solid hit as Jerry picks up his spin. <laughs> Tom has his bowling ball, and now he approaches the lane.
confidently. Wow! This is a real trick shot. This is the last ball for Jerry. If he rolls a strike, he wins the ball off. It's a strike! Jerry wins the ball off! Congratulations, champ! And here's your trophy, Jerry. You earned it. a sly one, all right. <laughs> He's the craftiest trout in the whole lake. He's too smart for you fish hunters. <laughs> <laughs> Better fishermen than you two have tried to catch old Tricky. Hey now, don't you two go messing up my campground. Oh, 
You can't catch fish if you're noisy. Now cut that out, McTrout. something? You really want to know something? That's the last straw! Get out of my forest! You are in my power! You are in my power! <laughs> Bye. 
Welcome to the singles championship match between number one seeded Tom and number two seeded Jerry. Before the singles finals, we will have a mixed doubles exhibition game. And while the stands are filling, Jerry is warming up. Jerry returned those balls. He looks unbeatable. <laughs> the players are through warming up and we're ready for the mixed doubles match. Jerry's partner is Ivan Jogalong. And Tom's partner is Big Bertha. <laughs> Jerry and Yvonne have the service, and Jerry will serve to Tom. Tom returns the serve, and Yvonne misses. But Jerry lobs it back over Big Bertha's head. I got it! I got it! Good run! What a smash as Big Bertha returns the ball. Love 15. And now Jerry will serve to Big Bertha. Sizzling return by Big Bertha. Love 30. And now Jerry serves to Tom. And brushes the net. Tom returns the serve. And he rushes the net. What a volley! Oh no! Jerry hits into the net, and the score is love 40. <laughs> this will be match point as Jerry serves to Big Bertha. Big Bertha smashes Jerry's serve. Yvonne gets a racket in front of the smash and drops it back over the net. Tom's trying to get under Yvonne's return. Great shot! Tom lobs it over Yvonne's head. Big Bertha's running back, gets set, and delivers a devastating smash. Match point. Tom and Big Bertha win the mixed double. Tom and Big Bertha are running to shake hands with the losers. As soon as Tom and Jerry are ready, we'll have the singles championship match. And now, the championship singles match. Jerry is awaiting Tom's serve. What a smash! There's no way Jerry could return that serve. Fifteen love. And now, Tom's picking up a ball for his next serve. Jerry's all set. Tom drops his serve just over the net. Thirty love. Tom serves again. Jerry returns it with a high lob. Tom's running back. He doesn't know if it's going to be in or out. Out! Forty love. This could be game point. Jerry returns the serve. Tom puts a terrific backspin on the ball. It's going to drop over the net. Tom wins the first game easily. When the match resumes, Jerry will be serving to Tom. Now Jerry's ready to serve. Vote! Double 
Gold Ball. Love 15. Jerry's having trouble with his stir. Now he's trying an unorthodox stir. Jerry's point. 15 all. Jerry chooses a new racket. Tom gives Jerry the ball, and play will resume. Fault! Jerry forgot to release the ball. Double fault! Tom's point! Jerry's ready to serve again. <laughs> Jerry's point. This is still anybody's match, folks. Jerry serves. Tom smashes it back. Jerry returns it. What a volley! Tom hits a lob. It's a high one. Jerry's going back. He thinks it's going to be out. It hits inside and takes a high bounce. Jerry's going to try to get under it. He's running up through the stands. He's going up the flagpole. What a smash. Now Tom's trying to get under the bounce. This is a crucial match point, folks. If Jerry can hold his service for this point, he will be our new singles champion. Thomas tense and has switched to a new racket in an attempt to hold his title. Jerry serves and rushes the net. Tom lobs it back. It's going to be over Jerry's head. What a return! It's over Tom's head! He's going back! Max Point, Jerry wins! Jerry's our new singles champion! Castle Scarlatti. I see you answered my ad, but are you brave enough to spend the night in my haunted, uh, comfortable castle for the $20 prize? Ah, I see you've changed your mind. It'll be easy, gentlemen. All you have to do is remain in the castle until morning. Oh? Now, I will show you to your room. I'm sure you'll enjoy a good nightmare sleep, if you don't believe in ghosts. Thank <laughs> you. 
will be a ghost. Oh, boy. The quality of ghost us wizards have to conjure up these days. attraction. Huh? Naturally, everything was fake, because everybody knows there's no such thing as ghosts. <laughs> Boy, the way you guys fell for Trent. <laughs> like the ghost bits. <laughs> All done with a movie projector. Funny, funny. <laughs> <laughs> and how about that magic painting for the upside down room? <laughs> Real screamers, right, fellas? Hmm. Do you sure earned your prize? Not just for staying all night, but for being such prize stoges. <laughs> Ghosts? <laughs> oh, I can't stand it. Anyway, here's your prize money, fella. Oh, no! 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 Oh,
castles I had to pick to haunt. I had to pick a real haunted castle. <laughs> so, it was those two. Nobody gets the last laugh on me. Jerry, now hear this. If you perform your duties well today, you will be full-fledged forest rangers. I want you keen and alert, and keep a sharp eye on that baby bear cub who's always getting into trouble. But watch out for his mother, old Bruin Hilda. If she thinks anyone is bothering her cub, she can be real mean. Got that? I mean mean. See what I mean when I say mean? Mooses don't climb trees. Now let's get going. Chocolate cake's done. Would you like a piece? A small piece, dear. I said a small piece, dear. Oh, George, there's a bear here. Yes, dear. Thank <laughs> you. 
and get you some? Yes, dear. George, a bear! Yes, dear. A bear! He's eating our cookies! George, the bear is gone. Yes. run over by a bear. Oh, boy, I'm taking you in. You're in no condition to drive. That's to George. Yes, Police, I want to report two bears, a cat and a mouse. Oh, what are they doing? About 60 miles an hour. Can you describe the alleged perpetrator? Well, it's a Caucasian cat, about two feet tall. George, don't just sit there like a lump. Yes, dear. Go on, ma'am. The mouse is three or four inches tall, of unknown ethnic origin. George, I said do something. Yes, dear. Go on, ma'am. The bears are both brown complected. The big one is a mama bear, about nine feet tall. A baby bear is about twelve inches. And a Witchcraft Aircraft Company will be famous. I'd better check my crystal ball to make sure I have everything covered. <laughs> now let's see what Crystal can see. Crystal ball, thrown in the wall. Will free fall free to succeed? Crystal ball, tell me all. What else do I need? Frida, my dear, listen here. This is what to do. Down the road, you see the two who'll be your crew, you shrew. <laughs> well, all right. Thanks, Crystal. <laughs> hey, Broom, rev up. Broom, Broom, do your stuff. A crew of two should be enough. What kept you? Oop. Just to show you my heart's in the right place, there'll be no charge for the flight in. 
How would you like to get in the flying game, huh? 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 <laughs> now, don't be bashful. Zippity zap, glibbit floor. Say goodbye to that little old door. <laughs> Me, fellas, you'll like it. You'll like it. Soaring high in the sky, lost in the clouds, why I'll be as famous as all those heroes of flight, like Dame Gladys Flopover in her tri winged crumpet, and Baroness Von Contact in the Glockenspiel, too. Young Maya Kabuki with her short circuit transistor, and next in line. Me, free fall Frida, and her 1401 wide body cauldron. So let's go, go, go. Time's a wasting. This is the checklist of tests we'll go through on the job training for you. Nothing but the best for witchcraft's crew. <laughs> Fasten your seatbelts and hang on. <laughs> Check the list and see what's first on the training agenda. Stunt flying! You'll like stunt flying. <laughs> now here's one you'll really get a thrill out of. The triple loop dropout, fall down and pick up. <laughs> Here we go. One loop, two loops, three and the dropout. There's your basic fall down. Now for the death 